Guilty? Well, maybe not. Last Friday, mostly missed because of all the news about the new Mueller indictments, was news that former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn may be reversing his guilty plea with Judge Emmett Sullivan ordering all evidence that may help Mr. Flynn turned over to Flynn's attorneys. So could Mr. Mueller be about to lose one of the notches on his record? Here now is Jeff Lanza, a former FBI special agent. So, Jeff, the significance of this uh, is that General Flynn, a year ago, a year and about a month ago, was interviewed by none other than Peter Strzok, who was a lead FBI investigator for Robert Mueller at the time. He was later dismissed because of his vehement anti-Trump bias that was revealed in all of those texts between he and his lover, who also worked at the FBI. And, and therefore, there's questions about whether or not he was straightforward with General Flynn or whether he just wanted a conviction so badly in order to hurt the Trump administration. Right. These are questions that we don't know the answer to yet, but we do know that uh, mysteriously the judge in the Flynn case was removed from that case and replaced with another judge shortly after Flynn's guilty plea. And the person who took over in that case actually was a judge that presided over another case that you may be familiar with of uh, Ted Stevens, right. who was the senator in Alaska. Now, that case uh, fell, on, fell flat on its face after it was revealed that the government had not turned over exculpatory information regarding Mr. Stevens. So this particular judge is ordering now that all information be turned over that to the to the defense regarding uh, regarding Michael Flynn, which you think would have been done already, but maybe there's some additional information now yeah. given what's happened with it's uh, Peter Specifically, Strzok. just to remind folks out, out there that right after the inauguration. Uh, General Flynn had a phone call uh, with a Russian ambassador during which they discussed a lot of the future relations, probably including some information about the, uh, the various restrictions have been placed on Russia. Uh, and that was used, that was picked up as part of the uh, FISA warrant. That was picked up. He was unmasked. I, I don't know if it was by Susan Rice or whomever. Uh, but that's how the FBI and Mr. Mueller found out about Flynn's conversation with the Russian. And then apparently uh, he didn't say anything wrong. The Washington Post got hold of that transcript. And according to the Washington Post, and they're no friends with Donald Trump, they said Mr. Flynn said nothing inappropriate or nothing that was wrong. But maybe Flynn had been told differently by Peter Strzok when he was interviewed. That's, that's possibly true. And it'll be interesting to see once those, that information, the potentially exculpatory information, is turned over to the defense. Uh, and if that becomes public, we'll find out exactly what the judge has in mind here uh, in that particular issue. Now, there was, another, issue. there was another charge today by the Mueller team. Uh, this is an attorney uh, who used to work with Paul Manafort. And the charge was related to something that happened long before the election. It was back in 2012 when Manafort was doing work for the Ukrainians. But the charge was that he lied to the FBI. I'm just wondering, after if, in fact, uh, the Flynn charge is reversed, Who's going to believe any uh, charge from the Mueller campaign regarding uh, lying to the FBI? Right. So keep in mind this, that when you get charged with lying to the FBI, which, of course, is a federal crime, usually it's because the prosecution doesn't have anything else to charge you with, and they're trying to gain your cooperation against other individuals. That's what's probably happening in many of these cases where you see people charged with yeah. lying to federal agents. And I, sh I should mention, by the way, I, I called a, a judge in, uh, who's familiar with these cases. I asked him uh, how many plea reversals are there. He said every judge will tell you about one that he had in his career. So it's extremely unusual for a plea reversal to happen. So we're going to have to wait and see. I just want to warn people. It's not necessarily going to happen, but it is a possibility. Very interesting turn of events. Thank you very much for coming, Jeff. I appreciate it.